Now that you've done some coding, let's talk about how to bring it together. We'll take the codes that you created and group them into themes. Grouping codes into themes is all about finding ways that codes can be grouped together. You want to group together similar codes or codes with some sort of relationship with one another. Ways that you can do that are to find causal conditions and more context between different observations. You can look for consequences of phenomena, and then you can also determine broader categories and make different connections between codes. So let's go back into our research project so I can show you how you can do this using Delve. Let's take this list of codes and start combining them into themes. So I'm going to read through them and see which codes can form groups together. So over here, I'm seeing feeling nervous and concerned about the future. So those two seem to be related to anxiety. And I might double check actually, to look at some of these quotes to see if they are related to anxiety. So I'm just gonna read a few of these quotes. And then I'm gonna look at feeling nervous. And yet yeah, these do seem to be related to anxiety. So I'm gonna create a theme called anxiety. So it's gonna feel like I'm creating a new code there, but what I'm gonna do once I made anxiety is I'm gonna drag feeling nervous under anxiety and then concerned about the future under that as well. So now I have a theme called anxiety connecting two different codes, feeling nervous and concerned about the future. Uh, I might also pull in really scary really fast And I also might, in this description, just write a quick note to myself, uh, feeling anxiety about the changing COVID-19 situation. So that's one theme. Um, I also have adaptations here, which is actually one of my initial codes based off my research questions. But I can take some of these codes and group it under adaptations and use adaptations as a theme. So, you know, things like researching safe ways to meet up. I'm going to drag that up here under adaptations. So now it's there. Meeting up over Zoom is related to that. So I'm going to drag this up here as well. So meeting up over Zoom and researching safe ways to hang out related to adaptations. I can also expand and collapse these. So once these are themes, this little arrow, I can close that so that it's a little easier to manage this list. I'm gonna bring Zoom fatigue under anxiety as well. Oh, even disconnected from others can also fit under anxiety. And if I wanna just double check what I have under there, I can expand it. interruptions, new home structure. So these are kind of related to adaptations, but maybe I'll make a new theme about, um, yeah, new experiences. So I'm gonna create a new theme called new experiences. So I'm gonna put new home structure in there and interruptions. And once again, I might just double check. So I'm gonna look at the quotes under new home structure to see if this was a new experience. All right, I'll look at these quotes. Looks like it is relevant for that. And then another theme I might create here is staying connected. So talking with a friend and actually I remember some of the things under adaptation, like researching safe ways to hang out are also related to staying connected. So I'm actually gonna create a couple layers here. So I'm gonna bring staying connected under adaptations. So staying connected is one way that people adapted. And then I'm going to pull these researching safe ways to hang out under staying connected. And then even meeting up over Zoom. Um, and then from this, I'll also add a description. 
staying connected with others despite being physically separated. Um, and that's because this was specifically about meeting up over Zoom because they couldn't meet up in person. The quotes are reminding me of that. Same thing for researching safe ways to hang out. Oh, actually, this is about researching safe ways to hang out in person, so I might update this. Staying connected with others despite being physically separated or finding safe ways to meet up despite the COVID restrictions. You know, finding ways to safely meet up. So I'm just adding some context there in that description. But as you can see, this is my process of grouping things into themes. Life before COVID is very much related to initial experiences, so I might drag that under there. Um, and then miss my family. Let's see what this was about. I started to really miss my family. Uh, so it's not the perfect fit, but for now, maybe I'll just put it under anxiety. Or actually, why don't I make a new theme here called loneliness? So I think that describes it a little better. So I'm going to bring Miss My Family under loneliness. Uh, and same thing for disconnected with others. So I'm going to bring that under loneliness as well. So you can kind of see when I grouped things into themes, it wasn't permanent. I'm actually kind of reevaluating where things fit. But in general, um, I started off with a flat list of codes. And now you can see I have some structure to it. And these themes I created, adaptations, anxiety, initial experiences, loneliness, and new experiences. These are all different ways that I've connected a group of codes together. This video is part of Delve's online course on qualitative data analysis. Learn more at delvetool.com course.